Welcome to video 3.2, Opportunities from the Leadership Toolkit in the Safe and Effective Use of AI in Education Online Resources. This section dives into the effective use of digital technologies, particularly AI in education. It draws on guidance from the Education Endowment Foundation and the Department for Education to explore how these tools can support teaching, reduce workload and enhance learning for all students whilst also highlighting critical considerations for their implementation and linking to the risks explored in the last section. Subsection 1, Principles of Digital Technology Use. The Education Endowment Foundation provides guidance on the effective use of digital technologies in education in its report, Using Digital Technology to Improve Learning. This emphasises that technology should be used as a tool to support high quality teaching rather than a standalone solution. The EEF's evidence suggests that digital tools can improve learning when they're carefully integrated into well-designed lessons, aligned with clear pedagogical goals and supported by teacher professional development. The guidance highlights the importance of using technology to enhance student understanding, facilitate effective feedback and support independent learning rather than simply replacing traditional teaching methods. Key recommendations from the EEF include ensuring that technology use is purposeful with a clear link to improving learning outcomes and that teachers receive adequate training to use digital technologies effectively. The EEF guidance also stresses the need for careful implementation as technology can often be costly and time consuming if not used strategically. Settings should consider how digital tools fit into their broader teaching and learning strategies, ensuring that their use is evidence-informed and sustainable. While technology has the potential to support disadvantaged students, its impact depends on thoughtful deployment and ensuring that all students have access to the necessary resources and support. AILA from Oak National Academy is designed to support teachers by helping to create high-quality curriculum-aligned resources. While a general AI large language model can generate teaching materials, it may not produce results that fully align with the curriculum. AILA, however, is specifically grounded in the national curriculum in England, making it more likely to generate appropriate and relevant content for teachers. It will encourage us to get the best results by requesting key details such as subject, year group, number of questions and mark scheme. Subsection 2. Reducing workload for teachers. In the policy paper Generative AI in Education, the Department for Education states, Generative AI has demonstrated that it can help the education workforce by reducing some of the administrative burdens that hard-working teachers, staff and school leaders face in their day-to-day -day roles. Strategic implementation of AI can cut down administrative tasks for leaders, teachers and support staff, particularly in areas such as data analysis, lesson planning, report generation and correspondence. This could allow educators more time to work directly with students and pupils and help to reduce workload if implemented well. The Education Endowment Foundation conducted a study, ChatGPT in Lesson Preparation, a teacher choices trial which looked at the effect on teacher workload of using ChatGPT for lesson preparation compared to preparing lessons without any form of generative AI tools. The trial found that the group using the AI tool needed significantly lower lesson and resources preparation time than the non-generative AI group. The study also found no evidence to suggest that the quality of the lesson resources created by the two groups differed. Teachers adapted the amount they used ChatGPT and their approach to using it based on their needs. The EEF findings suggest that LLM-based applications like ChatGPT, Gemini and Copilot can reduce teacher workload without impacting the quality of lesson resources. However, it's important to provide teachers with guidance and support to use generative AI tools effectively. It's also essential that teachers check outputs generated by AI for accuracy before using them in the classroom and that they adapt the content for their learners' needs. With any use of AI system, as leaders, you should make judgments about how well equipped your staff are to check the outputs. Consider how some staff, such as trainee teachers and early career teachers, may still be developing their subject knowledge and pedagogy, so may not yet be equipped to check these outputs effectively. For more on how to check outputs and adapt content, see modules 2 and 3 of the Teacher Toolkit.
You'll find several case studies about reducing teacher workload in the Teacher Toolkit, especially in Module 4. Subsection 3, Reducing Workload for Leaders. As a school or college leader, you can also reduce your workload. When used safely, AI can support activities such as timetabling, summarising large amounts of information, generating letters, reviewing policies and analysing budgets. By doing this transparently, you can also lead by example and inspire school staff to adopt the benefits that AI can bring. For early years leaders and smaller settings such as alternative provisions and smaller special needs provisions, AI has the potential to play a role in supporting the unique challenges of managing a nursery, early year setting or smaller provision, where teams can be small and responsibilities are shared across multiple roles. AI tools can help streamline administrative tasks such as rotor management and ensuring staff to child ratios are optimised in line with statutory requirements, among other uses. For all settings, AI can also help in analysing attendance patterns and supporting home communications by generating updates for parents, bearing in mind that all outputs need to be checked for accuracy. In this way, it can reduce the administrative burden whilst maintaining strong relationships with family and enabling you to focus more on the quality of care, learning and development for young children. Subsection 4. Supporting personalised learning. AI tools can be used to create, adapt and personalise educational content to support student learning. There are many AI applications available with different capabilities. These tools can assist by writing paragraphs, simplifying writing, separating content into sentences, extracting keywords, creating tables with definitions and designing gap fill activities. I think one of the things that has been so powerful for me has been our, is our SEND children. And I think, you know, we've, we've had, you know, we're thinking about how can we adapt lessons to support them in the best way possible? And how can we make sure that, for example, if you're a year six child, and you're, you've got a reading age of four or five, how can we make sure that your reading texts that are at your level, but actually things that you actually like and enjoy, and you're not giving them texts of, you know, of what, what children of that age would like and enjoy. And I think there's a real difference there. So being able to create resources that are really bespoke to their likes and needs, that are at the level that they, they need to be able to continue to develop. And I think that's been, for me, that's the most powerful side of it. Also, when you're saying about different texts, they're able to maintain the same text but is able to put it at a level that's understandable and achievable for them and that way that maintains their dignity and they feel included they feel part of that lesson rather than um, being someone on the outside they're integrated within everybody else they're all focusing on the same text they're all focusing on you know the same learning journey but they're just doing it at their particular level and i think that's been a, a huge game changer and a complete leveler and assistive technology has really been beneficial for those children as well. AI offers valuable tools to support learners with SEND by adapting materials to individual learner needs and providing personalised instruction and feedback. In Module 4 of the Teacher Toolkit, you can explore the opportunities for AI to generate speech from text. As well as recognising speech, dedicated AI tools can also take a scene and describe it in detail for those who are visually impaired. Large language models and many AI tools are multilingual and as such could be used with pupils, students and families who have English as an additional language, when used as part of an effective strategy to support those pupils or students. Beyond this, there are bespoke and effective digital tools that may or may not use AI for a range of disabilities. For example, imagine a student who isn't able to write but can use their voice. An AI tool may be able to listen to the student and rewrite what they've said more succinctly or clearer, and that can be very useful. But if the learning objective is for that student to work on sentence structure, a straightforward voice dictation tool would be more appropriate. It's also always more important to consider the pupil or student's specific identified needs ahead of their diagnosis in selecting appropriate tools. You should consult specialists and the pupil or student's EHCP if they have one in place to help in identifying specific needs and consider carefully whether an AI tool is the most appropriate solution on a case-by-case -case basis. You should also consider how your teaching assistants can make use of AI systems to support the work that they're doing. There's a real use case around save, save, saving time, for, or not saving time actually, making best use of time uh, with TAs. But again, as, as, they, as they evolved, they started to look at how actually they can adapt work specifically for the student. So the students have got their, their own uh, IEP 
uh, support strategies and again with individual tasks we taught them they can put in the task and, and get, the, get the AI to adapt that task bearing in mind all of those support strategies. Whoever in your school or college is making use of AI tools, they should always check any AI generated content before using it. It's important for everyone to understand that generative AI works by predicting the next word in a sentence based on probability without understanding the content it produces. That means it's crucial to keep a human in the loop when generating work with AI. We also need to consider carefully how a student or pupil will interact with AI and be aware of risks such as over-reliance or misuse, particularly with regards to what we know about how students learn best, and particularly with some of the most vulnerable students, such as those with SEND. The way that some chatbots respond can encourage an emotional attachment and lead to over-reliance. This leads to the risk of bypassing learning processes and other effects such as reduction in help seeking from human sources and the potential to miss important opportunities to safeguard pupils or students. This highlights the importance of following the DfE's product safety expectations, keeping children safe in education guidance and filtering and monitoring standards if you decide to provide AI systems to students. AI systems will often purely provide an answer they aren't going to have the knowledge that many educators and leaders have of how students learn and your settings approach. For example, how we scaffold tasks, use retrieval practice or promote metacognition. Human oversight, as well as all of the safeguards previously explored, are crucial if we're going to reap the potential benefits. With the right safeguards, careful planning and deep understanding of individual needs, AI can be a powerful tool for inclusion. Used thoughtfully, it has the potential to enhance learning, increase independence, and open up new possibilities to support every learner to thrive. Subsection five, supporting business operations and support staff. We know that AI can support your role as a leader, and we've also seen how it can support teachers in a range of ways. However, it's also important to plan for its wider use across your organization. There are many use cases where AI can streamline and enhance the broader operation of a school or college. Some examples shared with us by schools include finance teams using safe and approved AI tools to analyse budgets and support planning, business managers generating tender documents based on a survey of requirements, site staff using voice dictation within approved tools to create reports, teaching assistants adapting and preparing personalised content, and data managers using AI to generate insights that help target interventions and additional support around progress, behaviour and attendance. By involving all school or college staff in CPD on AI, you can help improve efficiency and effectiveness across operations, ultimately having a positive impact on pupil and student outcomes.